Hey guys, Nomos RC. So, <clears throat> I wound up ordering two more of these because the end pieces that hold the spider gears in place uh, are a little bit different on this. So, your center differential in an X-Max, at least the ATUS anyway, has an aluminum housing. And I wanted to use this aluminum housing because it's only 20 bucks. You know, normally like aluminum housings for, let's say, an EXP Creighton are 30. And this is bigger and beefier. So I wanted to use this on all three of the diffs. These end pieces here, you see that groove right there, that extra lip of metal that it has. Well, that fits down into that groove right there that my fingernail is basically touching. So it fits down into that. And then also at the end of it, you can see um, this is the channel that it slides down in. Well, at the end of it, you see that the, the corners are cut as well. It's not a square. <clears throat> this is actually my center differential. Uh, I had, if you can see here, let me get this focused. Wow, yeah, you can definitely see that. So you see how these gears right here are completely wore down and have like a spike at the end of them. They are definitely not supposed to look like that. They're supposed to look like this. So let me get this center diff assembled. But right now I can show you this is my rear diff. So this is what it looks like now. Um, with the new spiral cut gears. Um, and then something that I did want to show everybody, I cleaned them up really good, is while I was in here taking it apart, I've ran three full battery packs uh, through the X-Max now, and I've beat it pretty hard. Um, so I wanted to show everybody the wear on the spiral cut gears that I bought. And, I mean, aside from a little bit of dust and debris, because I couldn't get them perfectly clean, they look like absolutely like when I put them in there so that's the uh, that's the spiral cut uh, ring gear and then this is the pinion and then this is the pinion not a single dent or scratch or anything major I'm actually fairly impressed with these so let's get this center diff together and then uh, I'm going to go on to do the front differential. So I just figured that I would show the order that these go back in. Uh, unlike uh, Arma's, there's a lot less parts inside here, which to be honest is kind of nice. Uh, so you just have the spider gear shaft. You just throw your spider gears on like that. And then these do have kind of a sharp side and then a slightly beveled side, which you can see right there. And so that beveled side goes towards the inside. Like so. And then you'll look at this one and do the same thing. <clears throat> and that's how they go together. It's just five parts in total. There's no washers, shims, nothing. They just made it nice. So when you're done and then you top it off with oil, it should look like that. <laughs> 